Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you are doing well and thanks so much for tuning in happy halloween to all of you the ones who celebrate and everything of that nature your girl is back with another video back with you guessed it another halloween set you all i actually have one more left after this one but yes we're back today with the halloween set in particular we're gonna be doing a pink little like ghost face set inspired by the movie scream yeah so without any further ado the nail tips that i have on are nail houses size 3xl paper square tips i'm also going to be using this really pretty glitter acrylic from them it is called mean goals which is pink black and white and it's from their newest halloween 24 glitter collection i'm also going to be using mia secrets cover pink acrylic for the base of pretty much all of the nails i have here nail houses size 16 Kalinsky brush as well i have a or a couple of gels from them their fun girl and their blackout i also have valentino's number 45 white gel and then i have this light pink airbrush gel from savvy land the Fun Girl Gel though from Nail House, I ended up switching out for Nail House's Pink Panther instead, but yes. I forgot to mention that I am using Nail House's Pro Monomer as well, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the application. Now, I did go ahead and skip the pinky first because I'm going to be applying the Mean Ghouls acrylic to that one, and I want to go ahead with the, you know, solid color first so that there's no glitter stuck down in the dappin' dish and it gets into this nude acrylic. So yeah, I'm going to be saving that one for last. But yes, you all, I'm super excited to do this little ghost face, scream inspired type of set. As many Halloween sets as I've done over the years, well, I haven't done like a ton of them, but I've never done ghost face. Like I know they've been like all over the internet for years. The girlies have been eating these sets down, but I'm never one to kind of like hop on trends like that. I don't really care. I just be doing like my own thing. But this time I did really want to do like a scream inspired type of set. So that is what we're going to be doing. And it's going to be in pink. Um, I did have a different set in mind for a ghost face set. But I'm going to do that one next year. Like the that edition that I wanted to do. Yeah. So, but anyway, you all, without any further rambling or anything like that, I'm going to let you all go ahead and enjoy watching the application. But stay tuned because we're going to be doing some really cool nail art and you all don't want to miss the whole breakdown of that. So yeah, I'll be popping back in in a bit. I wanted to pop in really quickly to chat. I wanted to ask you all, like, what is your favorite, like, scary Halloween type of movie? Um, comment in the comment section below. I'm curious to know because, like, well, 
first of all, I've never been like a huge Halloween person like that or, you know, or TV person for that matter either. I used to like Halloween when I was younger a little bit, like the trick or treating part of it. And like, I used to like scary movies actually when I was younger, but there's a ton of like movies in general outside of Halloween that I have not seen. For instance, I mentioned to you all in my, a couple of my previous videos that I've never seen the movie Beetlejuice. Um, and I still haven't seen it yet, but I will be catching it sometime here when I get some, you know, time to watch it. But yeah, what is your guys' favorite like scary Halloween type of movie? Like I... I want to know, like, I need to go on, like, a little bench here and watch some different, look, like, little movies I've never seen before. So, yeah, I would like y'all to comment that in the comment section below. Even though Halloween is technically pretty much over by the time you all see this, because I'm filming this voiceover day before Halloween, that's why at the beginning of this video, I said happy Halloween. Um, but who cares if Halloween's over? I can still, you know, catch some Halloween movies, I guess. Um, I'm not a big fan. I guess I've never... I don't know. I won't say never, but I'm not a big fan really of like super gory or like exorcism type of movies. I've still never seen like the exorcism or like any of those kind of movies. Um, when I was normal, when I was normal, when, <laughs> cause I just was thinking of the name. When I was younger, like I used to love, I don't know, it was weird. I used to love watching with my siblings. Uh, do you all ever seen Paranormal Activity? Um, like i've seen all the paranormal activities it is so crazy but that's not like gory or like you know i don't know as i got older i kind of like geared away from how like how not really halloween but like scary type of movies like horror movies basically um yeah i don't know there's something about it that don't sit so right with me with like you know the super gory stuff or like exorcism type of stuff like yeah y'all i'm a child of god so like I don't know as I got older I really didn't care too much for it but like cute little Halloween movies I don't really care about that kind of stuff like that's cool but the other stuff yeah I'm good but anyway yes comment your favorite like Halloween type of movie in the comment section below Y'all, look how pretty this glitter is. It is so freaking cute. And it's like the perfect girly type of Halloween glitter. I just love it. Um, also, y'all, look how I can like kind of bend my pinky. Like I can kind of like disconnect it and turn it from the rest of my fingers. Um, I just pretty much showed that there. Somebody had commented on one of my videos was like, your pinky is freaking. But I do that with my pinky. Like bend it like that when I'm doing applications so that I can feel like or not feel like but sometimes i just move it like that so that it can kind of like move away from the other nails while i'm kind of like fixing on that pinky nail if that makes sense without having to move all of my fingers if that makes sense to y'all i don't know why i do it i just well i just told you why i do it but <laughs> that makes sense y'all my pinky nail don't be cricket i just move my or crooked however you want to say it i just kind of move my pinky nail like that or pinky finger like that sometimes just because i feel like it but anyway um as you all can see um i'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate this pinky nail right here with nail houses clear acrylic and then we're gonna move on into the shaping and filing so that we can move into the nail art Alrighty, this is how we're looking with the nails complete with the application. Not too shabby. Now we're gonna go ahead and shape and file the nails. And today I'm just doing a straight edge, no like little C curve or any of the sorts, like a moon shape. Just a straight edge today. I haven't done a straight edge in a while. 
but yes also for my new people hey y'all hey i do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel if you need a little bit of help with your shaping or what have you um as well as like application videos and things of that sort those videos are linked in the description below if you want to check it out so yeah but we're gonna go ahead and move through this quickly so that we can move into the nail art y'all Okay, y'all. So while we are shaping and styling these nails up, I wanted to go ahead and tell you all a quick little like, I guess, ghost story. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not really that scary or anything like that. And I have like mentioned it before, but it's all I've got, y'all. It's a true story. Um, so one day a while ago, like it was a while back, um, I was at home and my dad, he had asked me to close this window that was in the basement. And cause he always be like, close that window, close that window. Like he always be like, close that window. Um, you know, especially when it was like cold and stuff, but I like air. But anyway, um, I was the only one here and he had gone, like he was telling me before he had left to close the window and i closed the window y'all and it was just like a few hours later again mind you i'm home alone um and so a few hours later he had came back and uh he had came home and he was like portia did not ask you to close that window and i was like yeah i closed it and y'all that window was back open yeah that was crazy um i wasn't really like spooked or anything like that y'all i really always thought <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, my throat got a little dry. I really always thought that it was, like, a, like, ghost in my house, but I'm not really afraid of ghosts, y'all. I'm a child of God, and I'm not afraid of really much anything. I'm not afraid of anything but God, okay? Like, I don't fear anything. But, yeah, that was, like, kind of crazy, but not really, like, too shocking, but it was kind of, it kind of had me shook a little bit because I know I had just closed that window, and because I, I knew that I had closed it because he kept telling me, like, close the window because he don't like that window open um but yeah it was just weird that it was open again after i closed it he came back and he was like then i actually closed the window and i was like yeah i closed it and yeah it was crazy but that's all i've got y'all i don't have like no crazy like ghost stories or anything like that not other than um that and the reason i always thought it was because you all may be thinking or wondering why i said that the reason why i always thought there was like a kind of like ghost or something in my house is because uh like i don't know it's like i always like hear certain things and yeah it's just kind of weird but i'm not afraid y'all anyway that's all i've got if y'all have like oh that would be something fun if y'all have like, any like ghost stories comment them in the comment section below y'all please because i want to i want to hear um <laughs> not sound like i'm begging but that would be kind of like fun like to leave like any like ghost or spooky stories that y'all have in the comment section below and it has to be real, y'all. Like, even if it's boring like mine, mine's boring. I do have a few others. Well, not, like, really a few others, but just, like I said, I always thought it was a ghost here because, like, things that I would do or, like, move and we'll be back in a different place or, like, you know, like, the window, per se, like, for example, it was back open when I know I had closed it just a couple hours before, and it was just weird. But, yeah, like, comment or, like, scary or any spooky stories you all may have if you're willing to share um, and make sure they have to be real, y'all. I can't just make enough stuff, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all. So, as you all can see, um, we have completed the shaping and filing. Super crisp. One with a straight edge again, like I said this time. Um, and now we're going to move into the nail art, y'all. The part we've all been waiting for. And, of course, we're going to go ahead and get started with pulling out my nail house liner brush. Size 25 millimeter. I use that thing for everything, especially my fringes. Because we're going to be doing a couple of fringes on this set as well. Like, just two. One on the ring, one on the 
thumbnail and they're gonna be identical pretty much i'm gonna do a white fringe with like a pink little airbrush and some black like ooze or like goo or whatever you want to call it um on the smile line it's gonna be really really cute this white gel again i'm using is valentino's uh number 45 gel love it only gonna be doing one coat of you know each for the french this white is highly highly pigmented highly recommend you all try it if you have not already it's like the best white gel i've ever they need to like sponsor me or something at this point <laughs> because no i do love this gel though um but anyway yes only one coat of it and i'm not gonna you know be too bent on making the smile line super crisp or anything because i will be going over it with um black on the smile line for like the little ooze a type of effect or whatever you all are going to see that um and after that i'm just pretty much focusing on the base of them right now of course we're going to get into we're actually going to get into drawing the ghost face last y'all um and we're going to do all the rest first that's what i did here so yeah All right, so now we have our white French bases, and now I'm gonna go in with Sabi Land's Airbrush Gel Polish with, or in the color light pink, to airbrush like the tips of these fringes pretty much. I wanted to tie them pink somewhere else, like um, on these fringes, so that's what I did. Super love these Sabi Land Airbrush Gels. If you've never tried them, highly recommend you all checking them out. It made airbrush, it changed the whole airbrush game for me. I was guilty of mixing acetone and gel polish um, for my airbrushes in the past before I came across these and yeah that's not so healthy at all to kind of mix those two chemicals together and especially breathe in. Um, these Cybelin airbrush gels just make everything a breeze when doing airbrushing and they come with so many different colors like I have the one set of like um what is it 48 no how many is it coming in? Y'all, I don't remember how many came in it, but I did make a whole video on it, and it comes with so many different colors, and they have other different colors as well, like other different sets with different colors, but with all of these colors, you can mix and match them too, like to make a lot of other different colors, like it's crazy, um, but yeah, I just love it, they're so easy to use, but yes, anyway, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, y'all, I just went on raving about these airbrush gels that I do love so much, y'all, recommend you all checking them out, um, if you all do check them out, use code PORSCHE on cyberlandofficial.com to save you about 20% off. Yes. But anyway, so I um, went ahead and airbrushed the tips of these fringes. I really love that look. It's super cute. And the black, like, little outline for the smile line with the little drips or ooze just kind of set the whole nail off as well. I did go ahead and cure the airbrush gel for 60 seconds and it was good to go. And then I went ahead and top coated the nails in shiny first before, I know I wanted them to be matte, but before making them matte, I went ahead with shiny first because 
sometimes when you apply matte over white it kind of white gel it makes it bleed so i do shiny top coat first 60 seconds then cure um i mean and then go ahead and apply my matte top coat which the matte top coat i use is dynamic nail supplies matte top coat love that one it's the only one i use currently and i've been using for a while and the shiny top coat that i use is from f Zanis, their diamond top coat love it now i'm gonna go ahead and with zule's black painting gel to create a like outline on a small line in this black like ooze drips a tip that i have for like ooze or blood drips is like to for them not to be like super thick like is don't put any excess gel on the liner brush like when you're creating the lines go ahead and just pull the gel from those dots um up as thin as you can or you know however thin you want them um i personally like mine like my drips to go up and like a taper or like thin i don't like them to be like super thick so i do go ahead and just pull that gel from the dots to um you know go upward and connect it to the smile line that goes for as well like for my when i draw sparkles if you haven't noticed like i don't put any excess um gel on the brush i like those lines to be thin as well so i just pull from the center of those dots you'll see me do that here um shortly because i will be including like little sparkles in these nails as well also too i meant to mention that i did in my last video with the um what was that those red like gothic type of slash halloween nails show you all how i clean my airbrush but if you didn't catch that in that video it's fine i am gonna make a separate video like it's a little short or something i had to go ahead and make a video during this video actually but separately like off camera not off technically off camera but it's not in this video i did it separate from this video showing you all how to clean an airbrush as well um, and I will include that in a short that's quicker so you all can see that but I did include it in that video and also by the way speaking of that video and just periods if you have not been seeing my videos for my Halloween series I've done three already this is the fourth one here and I do have one more up next which I can go ahead and tell you all it's gonna be like the cutest little Mickey Halloween set ever so stay tuned for that set it's gonna be my last one even though it will be posted shortly after Halloween, but who cares? Um, that video will be the one up next, so stay tuned, you all. And if you all don't have your notifications on for my channel, or if you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what's going on, but make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you're notified each and every single time a girl posts a new video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're thinking about joining, you're gonna love it here. You might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but <laughs> yeah, you all tune in and stay tuned for my upcoming videos you don't want to miss it this is how we're looking with the two finches complete with the little drips i think they're so freaking cute they're pretty simple but they're cute this set was pretty simple overall um i didn't want to do too much the only one that i feel like is a little bit more intricate is the ghost face nail so yeah we'll get into that this one here that we're gonna start is um this index fingernail one is gonna be it's gonna say no you hang up you know like in the scary movie movie um we're gonna be doing that in pink and i did go ahead and switch out like i told you all earlier this uh fun girl nail house gel to this pink panther one i think it matched a little bit better well it seemed like it because like i don't know that pink airbrush from Cyberland looked i don't know i felt like it was gonna match this one the pink panther one a little bit better which it did better than the other one but it didn't match like you know like totally match if that makes sense which is but it's fine it, it's really really fine although i wanted it to it didn't have to be like completely matchy matchy um i'm gonna go ahead with my nail house precision liner brush in nine millimeter to go ahead and draw these ladders on y'all if y'all first of all if y'all haven't tried nail house liner brushes like period like in general y'all already know like i always highly recommend them like i use them every single video especially my 25 millimeter because i'm always doing some type of french i can't help it and i always use that one to do my frenches make them super crisp but if you haven't tried nail house liner brushes period you also have to try these new their new precision liner brushes the chrome handle like the silver chrome handle ones they're like they're more like thinner so they're more precise and they're everything y'all like I always have trouble with drawing like letters or numbers and 
even though it did take me a little bit you know like i think anything takes a little bit of time like it is not like super easy it helped a ton y'all was drawing these letters here like i didn't have to go i didn't have to redo a single one of these letters really but i think i did redo the h just only to make it a little bit further away from the center so that the whole word can fit but but other than that like i didn't like mess up on any of the letters um they all came out like exactly how i pretty much wanted them to um with this precision liner brush from nail house y'all they're everything you have to try them and also as y'all can see i did do little like drips from the letters i thought that would be really really cute to tie with the drips from um the smile lines of the french's and yeah i just thought it was really cute so that is what i'm doing here and after i do this i'm going to draw some little pink drips at the cuticle area and i did redo the drips at the cuticle area a second time just because i wanted them to be a little bit longer and bigger um i think i did that part off camera but yeah you all pretty much get the drift also for the base of this nail if you didn't catch it earlier i used nail house's blackout gel if you're looking for a good black i forgot how good this black gel is i haven't used it in a while i'm always using the valentino one but if you're looking for a good black gel, this one is the way to go. However, I have told you all this before as well, that a lot of the times it is sold out on No House's website because once it restock, the girl just buy them all up because they are that good. Like, yeah, they're just that good. Um, and actually, if I'm not mistaken, because I was on Nail House's website yesterday because I was looking at some gels I wanted to buy again, the ones that I'm running out of. I think Blackout is currently in stock right now, y'all, which is surprising because it's Halloween time. And I think they may have just restocked, though. Um, I don't know about the white one, Blanco, because that's another popular one that's always out of stock. Blackout, the white and black gel, it's always out of stock. Okay, update. I actually just checked and they both are actually in stock, which is really shocking. Um, so yeah, get your hands on them if you can. Um, there's it's really hard to come across a good white and black gel. I say that very often. So I do highly recommend them. Also, Valentino's white and black gel, or the white one specifically, I really, really love. But yeah, and also don't forget as well, whenever you're shopping no house, use code Portia for savings off your order. So that is how that next fingernail came out looking you all super, super cute. Now we're gonna get into the last nail y'all pretty much, which is the ghost face nail. And as you all can see, I'm gonna start with um, drawing his face with four little dots, just like, you know, as a starter. And I have this liner brush right here from Nail House that's 12 millimeter that I'm gonna go in and pretty much do majority of this nail art with and right now i'm just connecting little dots to begin like you know the foundation of his face like the outline of it just like a little rough draft i'm gonna go in and just clean up and make it you know elongated and you know in areas where it needs to look a little better at this point i was like this does look like a pad that's kind of childish but <laughs> but it did but i cleaned it up a little bit i'm not no pro at this y'all i just kind of like you know did my best this is my first time ever drawing a ghost face so i tried um i'm sure like you know with anything the more i do it i definitely want to do a different ghost face set next year so we'll see how that look but so i just did the little outline of his face and now i'm going in and well i went in with the little uh little detailed lines like a little i guess it's not necessarily like the like it kind of looks like cheeks but it's not his cheeks it's gonna be the outline of like where the eyes will go so and then i'm went ahead and did like the outline just starting the outline of like the his, his little hood and things you know his little hood y'all i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna explain this the best i can like, your girl's a little tired it's like one o'clock in the morning um but no so you all can pretty much see what I'm doing. I'm using my dotting tool to draw a lot or begin like, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Mapping out like the eyes, the nose and things like that. Like a dotting tool really, really helps a lot. Like it has a little bit more control than a liner brush, like starting out and mapping out, you know, the foundation of these things and going in with a little liner brush to like clean up the lines and complete it pretty much um with this with his hood i did draw it like a little bit more bigger one like across the nail than i would have liked so after i did fill in some of it i did go ahead and erase some and kind of made it a little bit more um like not cover the whole nail so much like i didn't want it to cover like the majority of the nail that it did pretty much like the 
surface of the nail than it did so i did go ahead and take some of that away um off camera but um you all can pretty much see what i'm doing i would say for the most part this wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be like i kind of doubted myself a lot you know and i shouldn't have done that but i'm like you know as long as you take things step by step this right here now this right here is not that hard like it was it's i'm talking about like the ghost face now drawing like other things and other characters that may be a little bit more intricate but this wasn't that hard to me it just it just wasn't and you just got to take it step by step and to go ahead and draw like little like um white lines for different like little highlights of things i try to kind of i tried to kind of make it look like um you know there were like little wrinkles in his hood and stuff like you know little details like small little details y'all um not doing too much just like little random you know details and i did go ahead and draw like little heart eyes you know um using that same pink gel pink panther from nail house and i also did like some little um a little phone and some little sparkles which y'all are gonna see how i do that and yeah um if you decide to recreate this you can you know slow this part of the video down as you know slow as you need it to be and rewind it and rewatch it and go along with it as many times as you need to um again like i said no pro at drawing um i kind of doubted myself going into this and it's not like the best ghost face ever but um you can tell what it is pretty much and it wasn't really that difficult and yeah i'm gonna do another one like i said again next year and maybe um i'll be a little better then but yes yeah, what i got for now and i think it came out pretty cute y'all also i switched back and forth between nail houses uh regular liner brush size 12 millimeter and their precision liner brush size 9 millimeter and um also as y'all can see the little dotting tool for this look <laughs> Alrighty, y'all and this is how the nail came out i think it's really really cute like i think it's really cute for my first time drawing ghost face like i think i did a pretty decent job um i'll do better next time but i think it's still cute y'all anyway we're pretty much done with the set now y'all i did pull out some charms to see i had these other ghost face charms i really wanted to like kind of incorporate the knife somewhere but it was kind of big and then I didn't want to take it away from like the set especially like the pink you know the glitter because that glitter is too cute and it also have these pink ghost faces that i was trying to see if it would look right on it but i'm like you know what i'm gonna keep it simple keep it at a bare minimum not really bare minimum because these are kind of like these are simple yet like kind of really cute and sort of intricate well the ghost face now anyway i don't know if that makes sense but yeah here's our final results I really hope you all like them. I love them so much. They're, again, pretty simple, yet they're so cute. Another little cute pink Halloween set. I really did love and enjoy my, like, pink Oogie Boogie set from last year. Um, I finally did actually watch Nightmare Before Christmas, actually, last year, because I've never seen that one either, y'all. I'm bad with TV. Not a big TV person, but <laughs> anyway. 
but we hope you all enjoyed this video i love the way this came out if you all enjoyed and love this as much as i do don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to comment your favorite scary movie as well as you if you have any like um horror or like spooky ghost stories that you know that's real um and also comment your thoughts in the comment section below maybe comment your favorite nail and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time i post a new video one last halloween set coming very soon up next actually and you don't want to miss that and after that set we shall resume and move back into fall sets you all thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye for now